So sometimes we'll get asked, what does the cervical position tell us about the patient's fertility? So the short answer is cervical position does not impact fertility. Um, interestingly, when sperm is ejaculating in the vagina, it can make its way through a what's called antiverted or retroflexed or retroverted cervix. And so the sperm can get inside. Another analogy that I give patients is if menstrual flow can make its way out, sperm can make its way in. And so although uh, patients will sometimes hear uh, the position of my cervix might be the reason for my infertility, we don't see that and the data doesn't support it. Now, where does it sometimes have just some practical impact? Sometimes getting a speculum in and getting the cervix in view for a pap smear or an IUI where we need to access to the cervix or an HSG might make it a little bit uncomfortable for us to get the cervix in view. However, once the cervix is in view, again, then it doesn't matter. So I think patients will hear sometimes from either their gynecologist or someone that their cervix is uh, difficult to get into position or it's um, positioned awkwardly, but the good news is that that doesn't impact their fertility.